Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Pokemon. As you can tell, this is the second of our recording, because I entered it differently. <laughs> oh, we did we never fight this guy? <laughs> oh, he's in for a world of pain. Apparently this is the one guy that got around us. Was he just watching as we fucked up everyone else? He was like, I'm gonna get him when he come back though. He had a level <laughs> 20 Butterfree? Oh my god, Jax might not be able to win this. What an asshole. You know what? This is the only way it can go. This is a mirror match. <laughs> Same level, too. It is. It's a full Oh arm. no, stuns four. He's got the edge. He's got the edge now, but does he have Harden? <laughs> oh shit. He, he, oh, he, no. he's, he's like spec completely different. <laughs> right. He's hacking the shit out of you right now. Here's the other thing. I'm pretty sure bugs are weak against Psychic, right? No. Really? Oh. Well. It's the other way around. I fought in this gen. Didn't they fuck it up or something? No, that's Ghost you're thinking of. Oh, damn it. Well, I'm gonna tackle this fool. See, now <laughs> he's sleeping and I'm paralyzed and this is the two butterflies just whacking each other to death. <laughs> This is the most ridiculous. Video ridic games. <laughs> yeah, this is the most ridiculous fear fight ever. Cause literally, I, he's just falling asleep as I'm whacking his face. I think we have pure par paralyzed heal, so I also think like I can s actually win this if I'm smart. And by smart, I mean I just use tackle and don't get paralyzed that much. <laughs> yeah, by s smart you mean just get really lucky. I mean that's the Wookie uh, creed. It's just get real lucky and hope for the best. <laughs> it's worked so far. I mean, it's worked pretty good so far, I'll say. Never underestimate the power of luck. Especially dumb luck. The most powerful of luck. That's true. Of all people, we play gotchas, so we should know. Exactly. I I don't feel Jax had earned any of that 342 XP. I feel like just <laughs> guys should have gotten it all. <laughs> I was paralyzed through most, most of that. What an asshole kind of encounter is that? Who puts a level 20 Butterfree randomly? And all of his moves are fucking bullshit moves. Yeah, it's. I don't think I have Paralyze Heal. So guess who's getting his ass back to the Pokemon Center? Slight delay. Let's see. Let's chase feeling. Yeah, just feeling all right. Uh, at some point, we are gonna have to train up Chase as well. I just don't know when that <laughs> when that day's coming. Yeah, it's, at some point. Like he's going through. Uh, <clears throat> I think the current patch we're going through is just a rough patch in general. There's nothing he well, there's nothing he could even be super effective against. Regardless, he doesn't have any <laughs> doesn't have any uh, electric moves. So, they're gonna have to be something where it's a normal type. Maybe if I fight a bunch of Rattatatas, I'll just switch them in and start mega punching all of them in the face. There's worse plans out there. Let's go. I wonder why they included this. Zen? I don't know. I, I guess just as like a faster way to get around, but you could just make your map better and then not need to do that. Yeah, I think so. I think maybe it was like something to do connect. Maybe it's they didn't want you to have shortcuts in the beginning, but then later on in the game they wanted you to have shortcuts. But then there's fly, so who cares? Yeah, just yeah. You know. Uh, okay, let's go here. Let's go up. Where is it? Who the fuck has cut? It's Toaster. Uh, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we taught Toaster how to cut. <laughs> you have Pokemon with you. You're... What? That's awfully forward of you, lady. Yeah, take it easy. I, know, I understand that you're out in the hunt, 
but please understand that I have a choice in the matter. Ah, uh, why is everyone fucking here to fuck up <laughs> Jax? <laughs> Swear to God, ain't Jax ain't just ain't having a day today. It was not meant to be. I mean, his day will come when we get to the, what is it, Blaine? I guess that's the only time. Uh, Giovanni also. Oh yeah, Giovanni. Spoilers for who is the eighth gym leader in Pokemon Zen. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> the the gaming's oldest mystery. I mean, yeah, I would say. <sighs> Now he's paralyzed too. Why is everything? Why is everyone getting paralyzed? <laughs> fucking grass types are the worst. They are. They're so annoying because it feels like when you use them, they're no good. But when the enemy uses them, they all work. With the exception being Venusaur. You know. These yeah, pretty much are leveling up pretty good. I wonder if it's because we are literally fighting people that are way too strong. Uh, don't have another uh, let this bullshit again. I cannot <sighs> toast. I cannot believe we're going to go through the same thing again. <laughs> it's not another god to your bell sprout. God Please. I'm sorry to feel like we should have caught a bell sprout at some point if we had known that this awesome tactic of use paralyze and then do nothing but growth. Actually, I think that's how Toast lost once to a Weeping Bell, is that the Weeping Bell kept using growth. And by the time we were using um, a fire attack, it just did nothing. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, he's level 19 now. Sweet. I feel like this is just all Toast to run for it, right? There's like really no reason to switch to anyone else. Yeah, unless you just don't want to deal with the paralysis. I mean, yeah. I mean, in general, I don't want to deal with paralysis if I can avoid it. <laughs> <laughs> in my day-to-day -day life. Like, as we speak now, my foot is falling asleep, and that's, like, I guess a partial paralysis. It sure sucks, because I can't move. It's super effective. Oh, okay, I thought he was going to level up from that. See, I understand why gym leaders are going, like, one type of Pokemon. But I don't understand these types of trainers who are like, you know what I need on my team? Like, two Bellsprouts and two Oddishes. <laughs> I got my type coverage just going. Nothing gonna bring me down. Ain't nothing gonna hurt my stride. I mean, I, I still like the... The lore, the, the headcanon lore, that it's really hard to train multiple types of Pokemon because you have to know what you're doing for each one. So you're just like some kind of genius child prodigy. And everyone else is just like, I'm just going to stick with grass types. They're, I, I know them. Huh. I guess that kind of makes sense. That's, that would make sense why when uh, a Pokemon trainer knows how to use more than one Pokemon, they're considered ace trainers. Yeah. So does that mean someone like... It, there's also, I think, a regional thing, because what, isn't it where Lance grew up nothing but dragons? Uh, yeah, it's that dragon, like, uh, the cave. Yeah, the, the cave of dragons. Like, one of the few places you can find a Jatini in. God, really? Are you gonna, are you gonna shit the bed on this final Bellsprout toast? <laughs> He's not. He's good. There you go. Um, yeah. See, he grew up there, so it makes sense for him to be a dragon trainer, but then he also uses Gyarados, which isn't an actual dragon. Whoa, it, it, the tree grew Yeah, but you gotta make do in a game with only one dragon. Oh, yeah, I guess that's fair. <laughs> I guess did Pokemon really think it through when they made a trainer, uh, the last gym leader be a dragon-type trainer when there was not a lot of dragons? Well, doesn't he have, like, four... Dragonair, he has like three of them, or he's got like two Dragonites and a Dragonair, right? Yeah, he has a uh, first of all, he has one illegal Dragonite because it's level 49, and then the other one is a legit Dragonite. That's some um, bullshit that he's trying to pass on, some substance abuse thing he used on that Dragonite. And then he has a uh, Aerodactyl and Gyarados, yeah. 
I, Aerodactyl is actually the odd man out, because he doesn't even look like a dragon of any kind. He's a winged dinosaur. Okay, let's see what TM we got here. Bippy. Oh, shit. That's not going to be very useful to anyone, is it? <laughs> this is a rock man. Great. I was bored, eh? He's Canadian. <sighs> These guys never look like the buff dudes that their sprites are based off of. I think we've talked about this. No, they really do not. <laughs> it's such false advertising. And of course... It's, it's... funny because it's the same like sprite as the Kung Fu guys, I think. I think it totally is. <laughs> We're going to bring out Chase. Chase can totally beat the shit out of this Machop. I believe in him. Even though he's half down HP already. Oh man, this moveset is something else, huh? I completely forgot that uh, I f made him forget uh, Mega Punch. Would have been very useful right now. It's alright, we got size to us. Pretty sure Chase can live? Yes! Alright, I'm actually gonna heal him, because now I think we actually have a shot. I think I've said this before, but I hate using any form of, like, healing potions in JRPGs. It's just something inside me just goes like, why would I ever want to use one of these? I might use them one day. <laughs> Even in the final boss, you're like, I bet there's a... totally gonna be... A secret boss that I need these for. I mean, yeah. One time I literally held off onto my rare candies until my Blastoise was level 90. And I just held on to the rare candies for the entire time. Then finally at the end I was like, oh, I'll give these to 100. And that's when I learned that uh, Blastoise does not go to 100. It went to 99 back then. I guess they didn't want to put the extra slot for another number yeah well to be fair these games are so weirdly buggy i don't think it could handle level 100 ah, that's true like if you hit level 100 all of a sudden all your pokemon turn into masingos he's just really like trying to get aggro on us sorry bro i ain't about that life now do you remember what this trainer has uh, I think it's another youngster, so like normal types or grass types. Maybe some sand shrews. Alright. I'm gonna put Jex up there. Because I swear to god, one of these days, Jex is gonna have a Pokemon to goddamn fight. I did not train him all the way to I work. I got a bad feeling about this. Ugh. Oh, it's a bug catcher. Okay, that's at least neutral. Yeah, okay, that's, you know what? If Jex can't destroy this Caterpie, he does not belong on the team. I'm gonna make a judgment call right now. Damn, a level 20 Caterpie is kind of overkill. It? it is overkill. Maybe he's waiting to... Maybe he thinks there's a move Caterpie learns at, like, level 50. <laughs> Secret Hyper Beam at level 50. Yeah. He's he, going for it. It's the Volt Tackle of Caterpies. It's his, his forbidden technique. It's been passed down from Caterpie to Caterpie. It's, you just can't tell it. Do you think it's weird that, um, that I think I kind of understand? Oh my god, Mavis. What? It's okay, Mavis. I'm just fighting this Weedle. I don't know why I switched away from Jax. He could have <laughs> easily taken out this Weedle. I don't need to bring you here. This is a waste <laughs> of your time. <laughs> it's more just to make a power statement. But, yeah. You know, we've been going easy. All right, that's enough of this. I'm tired of you. Venonat? What the hell is Venonat weak to? Is it also ground? I think it's just a pure bug. Pokemon. Whoa, what is this, like, still frame photo of Venonat? <laughs> it's mid-run. It is. It looks. It totally looks like it's, um... The uh, cover for his manga series. Like... <laughs> You would put that up and it says, like, Venonat number one. That's like, was it like his Naruto cover? Yeah, it's exactly like his Naruto cover. 
Venonet. I'd watch an entire uh, anime dedicated to Venonet only. <laughs> the most Venonet wants to be Hokage. Yeah, he has a. <laughs> I was about to say he has a dream, but that's not what um <laughs> that's not what Naruto says. It's not I'm Naruto Uzumaki. You are so close. And I have a dream. We'll talk about that dream next episode because we've been going around. We're almost there to the cave. We're so close. So close. Uh, but then we have to actually go through the cave. That's the part I'm... Yeah, fair enough. Until next time, everyone, goodbye. I also don't think I got Flash. <laughs> <laughs>